all for being here. Super excited for the night I'm going to have tonight. Um, I hope you are too. My name is Jillian. I am the recreation um, manager for all of our adult programs as well as our facility booking. So I was lucky enough to be able to book the Jolly Boys for a wonderful night as well as I can tell us. Um, so again, I just want to uh, say thank you all for coming and I hope you have a wonderful night. Feel free to grab some snacks before the show starts and thank you again for coming and I would like to welcome the Jolly Boys and our first group, the Cantatas. Oh, 
the next song is called The Trolley Song. <clears throat> it was made famous by Judy Garland in the 1944 film, Leaping in St. Louis. And um, Judy Garland's Garland, 100th birthday was a couple of weeks ago. They're brilliant. Um, in the, the song was inspired by a picture of a trolley car in a turn of the century newspaper. Ralph Lane, one of the writers, said that he saw the picture and it was captioned, Clang, clang, clang with the trolley. And there was the inspiration. <laughs>
our next two songs are early jazz standards. And the first one, in the first one, the singer is saying, I'm all alone. I'm not walking out with anyone. I'm not talking to anyone. As a matter of fact, I'm home at night at 8 o'clock, just listening to the radio. In other words, I ain't misbehaving. <laughs> ain't misbehaving was written by Fats Waller and Mr. Brooks in 1929. It was the most successful song of that year. 20 different artists recorded it that same year. Now, it was originally composed for a musical review, then it went on Broadway in a musical called Hot Chocolate, and finally it ended up in a film uh, where actually uh, Bats Waller did play uh, in 1930. And Cantante here, we would be misbehaving if we didn't sing it for you. <laughs> so here it is. <laughs> Enjoy this, 
And we also hope that there is someone in your life who finds you embraceable too.
Band theme, which is on Broadway right now, and I don't get to see it, with my favorite Hugh Jackman, and I'm still very upset, because he's, come on, Hugh Jackman.
Thank you very much. We are all, I'm so glad you're all here. Uh, I wish this microphone was a little taller, but that's okay. We have uh, been singing for about 30, uh, how many years? 75 years. And not, these jackets I think have been around for 75 years, but uh, we've enjoyed it uh, immensely. I don't know if you saw us on on uh, CBS last night, but we, we are we are TV stars now. And, uh, <laughs> we just have a great time singing. We um, we do uh, we're pretty relaxed and we have a lot of fun and we drink beer and we sing and we practice uh, uh, a lot. And then we sing in the spring like like now. Um, and then in the winter, we have a winter program. So we can look forward to seeing us somewhere in around Christmas time. So, but we do have very three very strict, important traditions. And one is we sing before every rehearsal and before every concert, we sing that song we just heard we meet again tonight. And we will sing our closing song which is another tradition, sleep, sleep, sleep. And then we always like to take a few minutes to introduce ourselves. So we'll do that now.
Our next slide is a real toe tapper. And it comes from a 1952 movie entitled Sing in the Rain. And it's the title of our song as well. And it, uh, it included Gene Kelly, Debbie Reynolds, and Donald O'Connor. Who would you like to see in a movie today? At any rate, and the song was written by Arthur Freed and music by Nancy Herb Brown. I'm sorry we can't simulate the rain. If you can remember Gene Kelly, how wet he got. Nor dance, nor dance like Gene Kelly as he went from pillar to post singing the song. But we hope you can, it will help you remember that scene. So now we are going to present Sing in the Rain. And please cover your heads. <laughs> Sing, 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 sing,
It's a lovely day today. It's from the stage play called Now, written by Irvin Berlin and arranged by John Levin. The play based on a book by Howard Lindsay and Russell Krauss is considered one of the great musicals of all time. It is the story of Sally Adams, the hostess and the hostess, who became, becomes U.S. ambassador to the tiny group Tachi Alvitamba, captivating a handsome prime minister and encouraging romance of her age with the enchanting young prince. As expected, the stuffed shirts in Washington conspire to get her recall. But it all ends happily, helped along by songs such as You'll Just or You're Just in Love, It's a Lovely Day Today, and Never in Love. The part of Sally Adams called for someone with a strong stage cross. And I'm sure you remember Ethel Surely provided the most for that role. And the movie version came out in 19. Starting Donald O'Connor, who you right now. Some of you may remember him. 
but he was the uh, founding member of the group, and he'd been president of the Princeton Glee Club also. And uh, Willie Monroe came right behind him. He'd uh, gone to Yale and uh, sang and played in the band, and he was a wonderful musician. And then Bob Valentine, who used to sing a solo for a song we did called Saloon, and it would bring tears to your eyes. And then the last one was Bud Brinkman, who also had a wonderful first tenor voice and uh, one of our souls for us, too. So um, I hope you're all having a good time up there. <laughs> and uh, we can feel your presence. Uh, our next song is Ora Lee. And it's been sung by the Jolly Boys since their start in 1947. It's a very beautiful song that was first published in 1861 and is considered to be a Civil War love song, which was sung around the campfires in both the federal and confederate camps. Uh, in more recent times, Ellis Presley used it for the melody for his famous song, Love Me Tender, and the tune is also used by the West Point Cadets in their anthem, Army Blue. So now, orally. Before you 
is one of the greatest kazoo ensembles this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> so, please give us a moment to tune. We're very professional about this.
are, there's something special about a beer drinking song. They're the kind, you know, tunes that make you stop what you're doing and start swinging your glass with zero regard for the dryness of the floor. <laughs> Our next four songs do just that. The first is Glorious Beer, and we know that it was popularized and recorded in 1899 by Daniel William Quinn. Quinn was one of the first American singers to become popular in the new medium of recorded music from 1892 to 1918. Uh, the second song is Oh Good Ale Thou Art My Darling, which was written in 1916, but I couldn't find much information about it. Uh, the third song is In Heaven There Is No Beer, which is a song about the pleasures of beer drinking. The title of the song states the reason for drinking beer while you are still alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was originally composed as a movie score in 1956. Now many colleges have renditions of this song, and I must mention my alma mater. Iowa plays this thing uh, at every, every victory. The final song is Roll the Barrel, which is also known as Beer Barrel Polka and Roll Out the Barrel a song that became popular worldwide during World War II. In 1927, the music was composed by a Czech musician, and rapid spread of that song was probably due to the occupation of Czechoslovakia by Germany with subsequent immigration of thousands of Czechs to other parts of the world who brought the tune with them. And now, a tribute to me. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit to um, what Virgil was saying about our tribute to beer. Um, this particular collection of beer songs um, came about during the pandemic when we were all in lockdown. Um, you may or may not know this, but the Jolly Boys, we continue to get together every other Tuesday, even during lockdown. And we would meet on Zoom. And we would get together, and I would still rehearse them, because, <laughs> you know, hey boy, you've got to sing. And um, this, is, this group of songs is actually a result of that. Um, it was a song that we could all sing. We enjoyed it so much. And so this is actually birthed from that time period. So this is also our tribute to beer, as well as a tribute to being able to get together even when times are rough.
well, we're going to go there one more time. So if you can imagine we're all Hugh Jackman, all of us. Okay? The music band played on Broadway from December 1957 to April 1961. Meredith Wilson wrote the book, the music, and the lyrics for this production based on his childhood memories. Growing up in his hometown of Mason City, Iowa. Throughout the entire production, he named various characters after people he knew as a child. In our next number, he took the name of his grandmother and his favorite aunt, Lida, and he combined it with Rose from his mother's Rosalie. Originally sung on stage by the 1950 international champion Buffalo Bill Barbershop Quartet. Just think of us as an expanded barbershop quartet <laughs> in more ways than one. <laughs> Please enjoy our rendition of Lighter Rose as we are joined by our accompanist, Vicki.
My kazoo just assembled itself in my pocket. Where do you go with that? <laughs> All right. Our next number will be the Armed Forces Pride of America. The Jolly Boys will now perform the Armed Forces Pride of America, a compilation of U.S. Armed Forces songs and anthems. You will hear the U.S. Army's The Quezon Song, the Marine Corps hymn, Halls of Montezuma, the U.S. Navy song, Anchors Away, the U.S. Coast Guard, Semper Paratus, and the U.S. Air Force's Wild Blue Yonder, routing out our tribute, will be the Star Spangled Banner. We invite you to sing along, and when your branch of services song is played, we invite you to stand and be recognized. Our version was arranged by Greg Gilpin and Larry Clark. My only complaint is that the hymn of the U.S. Merchant Marine, All Hands, was not included in this tribute. Maybe someday it will. And now, our course is Pride of America. And I'll go reassemble my kazoo. <laughs>
Mr. Jolly Boy members out there. <laughs> well done. Nicely done, everyone. Beautiful job. Um, thank you, first of all, for coming out tonight. Um, we're heading to our, our final song. As Frank said, we have three traditions. And before we do our final song, um, we would like to say some thank yous to some of the people here. First of all, we'd like to thank the Hinsdale Community Center um, because they have hosted us in our rehearsals every other Tuesday um, throughout the fall and throughout the spring. So we first want to say thank you to the Hinsdale Community House um, because we are able to call this place home, away from home, and make music. Um, secondly, we'd also like to say thank you um, to that guy who's walking around <laughs> doing recordings for us. Um, he has helped us um, do recordings for our different shows, and he also helped create the programs, and his name is Kaper Hoffman. Um, yeah. This is a special thank you to different members of our group. Um, first of all, we'd like to thank our current president, um, Frank Hobus. Um, he really does a lot of stuff for us. president, which was Dick Pinto, um, you saw him talk about orally, and so our former president, Dick Pinto, as well, thank you. Um, there's other people, too, and one is Virgil, he's our treasurer, he makes sure that we're able to buy music, so um, thanks, Virgil. copies of this to rehearsal. He goes, sure. <laughs> so, um, so Will as well. Um, so I'd like to thank them. Um, really, and I know I said thank you in the very beginning, but truly, without you guys being here and supporting these wonderful gentlemen, um, they would just be singing for themselves. Um, but it's so much nicer to sing for someone else, you know? You get to mirror everything that they give you. And so um, we actually have a special thank you to you guys just for coming here tonight and supporting the job. So we wouldn't be able to do any of this without um, our beloved pianist, Kiona. So Kiona Mushika um, is our beloved pianist, and she makes the songs happen, so keep on that. I would like to just do one special little thank you. Um, I actually have my family visiting from France, and we came here specifically for this concert. So, um, Nicole Christian, asseyez-vous et dites bonjour.
And as you can see, we also have a great time with each other. Your friendships never end. So once a jolly boy, always a jolly boy. Um.